In this video, we're going to look at uh, how to use the method of view substitution to integrate uh, certain integrals. We said the uh, integrals uh, which are ideally suited for this method are those where the derivative of one term is equal to a constant multiple of the other term. Um, so we said in this method we let u be uh, this one term and then in the second step we express everything in terms of u then uh, typically we get a simpler integral so we integrate that simpler integral and then once we've done that then we substitute back and write things in terms of the original integral so here are a few examples we are going to start with uh, a so in a we have got uh, 8x cubed uh, into x to the power 4 plus 1 raised to the power 15 okay what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to rearrange this uh, a bit so i'm going to bring the 8x cubed this side all right so in this integral we see that uh, the derivative of x to the power 4 plus 1 is 4x cubed now that looks like this or is a constant multiple of this so that means our one term which differentiates to give a constant multiple of the other is x to the power of 4 plus 1. So what we're going to do is we are going to let u be x to the power of 4 plus 1. So that is uh, this first step here. Then next we need to write everything in this integral in terms of u. So we're going to uh, go through this one a bit slow, slowly. Um, so the thing we need to do is to differentiate u with respect to x there. So that is going to give us 4x cubed. And then we are going to take dx to the right hand side. So dx is dividing this side. So if you take it to the right hand side, it's going to be multiplying so we're going to have 4x cubed um, dx then we are going to uh, compare this with what we have in our integral here so um, if we wanted to write this in terms of u this is going to be u to the power 15 because this whole thing is u. So then we need to write this in terms of u. Uh, here we've got 4x cubed dx. Uh, and in the integral we've got 8x cubed dx. So from this we can get 8x cubed by multiplying by 2. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to multiply both uh, sides of this equation by 2. So 2 du is going to be 8x cubed dx. And so now we can manage to write the whole integral in terms of u. So if we call it i, um, then i is going to be the integral of we've already said that this first bit is just going to be u to the power of 15 then the second bit here is just uh, 2 du so we're writing everything so that is our integral now entirely in terms of u and you can see that uh, it looks much simpler than what we started with. And indeed, it's much simpler to integrate. It's just a power of u. So we know how to integrate that. 
we add one and divide and so the integration is done so this is equal to 1 over 8 u to the power 16 and then now we substitute back so that this is in terms of x now remember u is x to the power 4 plus 1 so we can write this as x to the power 4 plus 1 all raised to the power 16 plus c and that is our final answer again um, we can use the chain rule um, if we differentiate this we should get that if what we have done is correct and i'm sure you can do that and confirm okay um, then let's go to example number B. In B, we have got 5x dx all over the square root of x squared plus 3. Okay. Um, this time, we notice that um, we have got x here, we've got x squared here. If you differentiate x, you get a constant. So x would not be our one term if you like because the other term that we have is not a constant is actually x squared so if we try this one if you differentiate x squared plus 3 you get 2x and 2x is actually a constant multiple of 5x so that means our one term is x squared plus 3 so we just, we just choose the the, the 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 term inside the square root uh, without the square root so what we are going to do is uh, going to let u be equal to x squared plus 3 then similar to what we did in a we differentiate this we get 2x then we take uh, dx to the right hand side so this is 2x dx and then now we compare with what we have in the integral we have got 5x dx right, but we can get uh, this to be 5x dx by simply multiplying by 5 and dividing by 2 so that's exactly what we are going to do so we multiply both sides by 5 over 2 so that is going to give us um, 5 on 2 du is 5x dx. Right, so now going back to our integral. So if we call this i for integral, then in terms of u, the numerator is just 5 halves du the denominator is now going to be the square root of u which again is a much simpler integral than what we have started with write this as u to the power minus half we can now integrate this by just adding one and dividing adding one to the power so that's going to be one half all over one half plus c so this is going to be 5u to the power and a half plus c however u is uh, x squared plus 3 so we can write this now in terms of x so that's going to be square root x squared plus 3 and then plus c so that is going to be uh, that uh, integral um, we are going to um, stop this video here the uh, other two integrals which is this one and this one we are going to work them out in the next video thanks for watching uh, please do not uh, uh, do subscribe of course and uh, if you've got any questions on what we've done so far 
do post your comments um, right thank you